In this episode, we travel to one of my favorite places, Izu Animal Kingdom, with so many fun things to do. And of course, lots of animals. And white tigers too. Welcome to Japan Dream! To get to Izu Animal Kingdom, get off at Izu Inotori Station. Go down the road and catch a bus. Be sure to bring change, because you can't use your IC card. After a quick 13 minute ride, we're here. I'll leave a link below for info on Izu Animal Kingdom. This place opened in 1977 as Izu Bio Park. In 2010, it was renamed and renovated to become Izu Animal Kingdom. There are several zones in the park. Here's Safari Zone. Check out the lion enclosure. Followed by the white tiger area. Looks like somebody's taking a nap. We'll see more white tigers later. This is such a spacious park. Lots of amazing animals too. Many of them you can actually touch or touch. Can you guess what this is? Nope, not chocolate. This bird area has been closed since the pandemic. Hopefully, it'll open again soon. Here's where the deers hang out. Throughout the park, you can buy snacks for the animals. Furiai Hiroba, Petting Zoo. This is my favorite area in the park. All kinds of animals here, like parrots, rabbits, guinea pigs, wallaby, mata, and lots of capybara too. Hey, brah! Hey, how's it? How are you? Hey, try and move? Sorry, Uncle. There's a cute armadillo living here, too. And a lot of new friends to follow you around. One of the bonuses to coming here in early March is seeing the Kawazu Zakura in full bloom. Wonder who's going to be eating next? We're headed to see the white tigers up close. But before that, I want to thank our sponsor, Hawaiian Water. It's called Ultra Pure because it comes from Hawaii. You've seen their bottles on flights from Hawaii, and now you can get them online. They also have servers for your home or office. Click the links below to get your pure Hawaiian water. And check out their new Instagram page too. Mahalo. Now back to the trail. And now, white tigers.
They are so amazing. Keep watching to see rare footage of white tiger cubs coming up. Let's go check out the golfing area in Sports Zone. Miniature golf, anyone? Now this reminds me of home. Look at the spacious driving range. You can hit the ball as far as you like and as wide as you like. There's even an observation deck with a fantastic view of the Izu Peninsula. By the way, if you're enjoying the video, please click the like button and subscribe so I can take you to more fun places in Japan. Thanks a lot. We're now at Play Zone. Time to feed the monkeys. They're really smart. Watch this. Nice catch. Kids love this place for all the animals, plus all the fun attractions. One of the allures of this park for me is that it has that retro 70s, 80s vibe. It's like going back in time. Search for all kinds of rocks and minerals here. Let's go say hi to the alpaca. And yes, you can feed them too. All this feeding has gotten me hungry. Let's go get a bite to eat. Loco Moco. This restaurant has a great view of the lion and white tiger areas. To close off this episode, I have rare, never seen before footage of white tiger cubs that I took back in October 2018. Enjoy. Still learning how to walk. These cubs are twins, and they were born just two months earlier. I was really lucky to get these shots, because the few times that I went to see the cubs, they were always sleeping. I heard that these cubs grow up fast. In just about a year, they'll weigh around 200 kilos. Mahalo, white tigers. And there you go. I hope you enjoyed our trip to Izu Animal Kingdom. If you're ever in Japan, write it down in your plan book. Springtime is my favorite time to visit here, but it's awesome all year round. Mahalo so much for watching and see you again soon on Japan Dream.